This is automation. Probably my most favorite game of all time. You can make pretty much anything your heart desires. There's like next to no end to all the customization you can do to make just the car of your dreams. Unfortunately, however, you can't really drive in automation. And the automation devs thought about that. Instead of making their own driving simulator, they put in this button. It's simple. It's a one-click export car. And bam, you have it in BeamNG. Just like that. You can even get your steering wheels animated in the game now. It's just, it's just so good. It's so fun. Except for the part that most people find it a limitation that you can only drive in BeamNG, where it's a good game, lots of physics based and all that sort of stuff, but, you know, kind of flawed. But then again, I should say that most people find that as a limitation. You see, I was able to get it into a set of Corsa for better or worse. This was actually a really terrible port. I didn't know much about modding. All I was concerned about was getting the car in and, well, as you can see, not the greatest thing in the world. But that's not all. I was also able to get this glorious little thing into SnowRunner. I, I, I love modding. It's just, I love being creative. It's what I like to do. And today, I'm going to try again. Except this time, we're going to be doing it in a different game. One which I have only ever dabbled in modding and never actually been, you know, overly successful with. That's right. Today... We're modding Grand Theft Auto. And once again, we're going to be using my default template car. Now, the reason why I chose this one originally to start with is because it's made out of a very simplistic sort of shape and nothing here needs to be like transparent. You could just do away with everything and have uh, this be the... Let me quickly explain that. This is a vent and this is the normal sort of thing that you would otherwise stick two dimensionally onto a car. But this is cutting a hole in there and that's because you can kind of see that there's an edge inside of here that is being covered up by the vent itself to show what is underneath it, which would be the vent itself. This on the other hand is not a normal body. It is just a mixture of a whole bunch of different objects put in 3D shapes. Even these stripes on the side are just 3D objects. So making my life super easy. Now, first things first, I am not going to be using Zmodeler. This is generally the software to use. There's only one problem. It's a goddamn subscription service. And like hell, I'm going to be doing a subscription service for a software that I might use once this year and then forget to cancel it and then maybe use it like three years later, which would end up costing way more than what it needs to be. Let me goddamn buy something and goddamn own it. What is this new trend that everybody's like, we can get more money from them. Anyway, moving on. So instead we're using a thing called a uh, code walker and we're going to be working in Blender. Hold on, just, oh, a few more things to hide. Uh, basically working so many things die. There we go. This. This is the June. Usually a little rear engine buggy, but we're going to be reworking this to be a normal front engine sort of car. And this is basically the end result. I've done a, a little bit of working, a little bit of tweaking, reconformed the collision mesh to this, but there, there's a lot to this. It's not quite so simple, but I, I did all of the vertex group stuff. I grabbed this. I went to join, went in here, deleted all of this stuff and then took this and uh, basically made everything fit but we're gonna skip that i did all the hard work now i don't know how to do the rest of this so we're going to be winging it mostly <laughs> apparently you're meant to make like a mod folder but i don't know how to do that and i've also considered just replacing the original game files but i don't know if that's going to be a good idea either the other option is is i could start looking into how to make the file structure but every single time i look at how to make a file structure what i end up finding is somebody going okay so this is how you make a mod first download somebody else's mod what the hell don't no just all i want to know is how to make the file structure please I don't mind making from scratch. It could be extra work. 
This one has been a real thorn in my side. Here's one instructional, and it's quite short, so let's hope that this does the trick. Apparently I'm meant to get some sort of tools. Then it looks like it's basically just create a directory with whatever the hell an RPF is. Let's create a new directory, and this will be outputs. Then a new one here, v1 for version one, whoops. Anyway, in there, and export this. June, okay, YTF XML, that is the file type we're expecting. Apparently I could just go copy to mods folder. Okay. That has done a lot. There's a lot of things in here. Uh, I don't know if I need everything. What I brought in was June YTF, not June YTF high. Wait, which one do I need? Oh, I don't know. This is so confusing. Is doing a bone number count, this is an option needed. Uh, second option, auto calculate inertia and auto calculate volume has to be ticked if you change the shit. Yeah, I did that. And 4.6, come on, please. It throws a bunch of errors and wouldn't you know it, it's still the default vehicle, what the hell? Why do you hate me so much? I don't understand what is going on. This is not how this should be. Hey, wait, hold on. The inner collision mesh is the right collision mesh. It's just showing <laughs> the wrong visual mesh. How is that mesh even there? All right, I'm joining their Discord to see if there's like anything I'm missing. Download the latest release. Well, I've already got that. Okay. Now, everything in, F4, export, wait, hold on. Let's go back quickly. And material- Hey, look, the materials thingy is shown up. Uh, it looks different. Why do they look different? I don't know what the- I don't know what any of this means. Alpha 1 decal cutouts, no splash, no- Sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then in a new blender, we're just gonna double check our exporting. Import code walk. And then in here, perfect, okay, good. It has worked this time. Import as assets, I don't know- Sure. Uh, oh, it's worked. Okay, so it's a material issue. God damn it. Okay. There's been a lot of things that have happened. One of the big things is the fact that uh, I realized that you could just have both in here and then export one exports both of them and that seems to have worked. I then went and made a, uh, like, a, because now I can't open Grand Theft Auto the way in which I was doing it. So we're trying to do this through 5M and it won't throw an error. I went into the resources, made myself a thing here. This might be an outdated way of doing it. It may not work, but we've got 5M now. Uh, I don't actually know where I am at the moment. Looks like there's meant to be some sort of cupboard here. It hasn't loaded in right. Where's out? Screw this. I've got vMenu in this hastily set up server. So I'm going to teleport to waypoint somewhere, hopefully where there's not a lot of people. Now vehicle options, vehicle spawner. Uh, it should be under off-road, but I'm not too entirely sure. But it should be under June buggy. Ah, oh, come on. It's so, the exhaust is in the right place. You can't see my mouse, but that, where the exhaust is coming out is the right place. So that is good. What about the, the space version? Okay, that's unaffected. The uh, military version is unaffected. It's just you. Just you. All right, let's close out. <sighs> Don't talk to me until I've had my morning Coke. So, <sighs> Last night, I went through, I grabbed a whole bunch of materials, I took the patterns from the game itself. Now in here, I've gone in and I've applied them. This is not a great situation. As you can see, this is meant to be blue, but it's like a really dark teal sort of thing. It's close enough. So, we're done. Let's go try exporting it now. This all looks good, I suppose. I really, I don't I know. All right, export them. Oh, now it's got an error. God damn it. All right. <clears throat> Lots of time has passed. There's one little thing that I just did not know about. And oh boy, this is a doozy. You've got your materials here, and then you've got like metadata information for the materials. 
<laughs> so what I was doing was grabbing the names of these. Uh, the, so the images are usually are found are the name of the material. So I was taking the name of the material and I was putting it in here and I was applying the materials as need be. But then it turns out that I was doing that without making this metadata stuff. And I don't know how to get that metadata stuff. It doesn't even give me the option to make metadata. <sighs> I might have an idea. Maybe. I could take a normal generic Solemns material and then apply a different name to it, maybe. G give me, say, 32 hours and I'll get back to you or something like Jesus Christ. The first hurdle after changing all those materials is to try to export it. He goes, nothing. Nope, didn't fix the issue. God damn it. Oh, okay. So I've done this like five times now. The last final one I did, I just went, you know what, screw up. Start from scratch. I took off all of the materials. I took off all of the UV unwraps, imported it, redid all the UV unwraps, and everything is now sitting here. And I hope to God it works. So, first, as you can see, the amount of versions I've been working with to, like, save backups and everything. Uh, output. No, that's not what I want. Uh, I'm all flustered now because I kind of wasn't expecting this to work. Into the resource folder, into the replacements, into the seven area. Grab these two, stick them there. Yes, replace those. Let's just see if this is enough to make it work please like this is the last chance if this doesn't work you're not going to see this video because it's just going to get scrapped which happens rarely but it does happen vehicle related options vehicle spawner off road and june buggy <gasps> oh my god it's not worked right but it's in holy ca oh my god oh uh it's in it's in gta oh my god oh okay it's very drifty i i i'm not stopping i love the fact that it's in it's all working oh my god i can't believe it's worked after all of that faffing about all i had to do was start from scratch after removing all materials and all uv unwraps import it completely is just a bunch of nodes beams and faces or uh, vertexes uh, uh b i don't i don't i don't know what blender calls it. i'm just so used to playing in bmng oh god i think i need to show this to somebody because this is pretty freaking epic right now uh, all I have to do is just make sure that I know how to actually get people into my server because I'm connecting to a local host because it's running on my computer. What? I'm a computer. All right. Fantastic. All right, remember, where I, remember where I parked. <laughs> actually, you know what? It doesn't matter because you're about to get rid of that car. So go into the vehicle spawner. That's fine. I stole it anyway. Go down to June buggy. It should be the 22nd on the list. Weird, weirdly specific directions. All right, let's. <laughs> twenty six. Uh, wait, dune buggy or ramp buggy? Dune buggy. All right, twenty two for me. Is that yep, twenty two. Yeah. I don't know. You can look at my character. He's absolutely out of day. Do you recognize uh, this car oh, at all by any chance? Oh, that became. Is this a Caterham or what is this? It kind of like or a Caterham. Yes. You may want to clean it because it creates like weird patterns on it. I think that's a dirt thing that I haven't figured out yet, but I'll do that eventually. Oh, okay. This... Wait. Hold on. Can you figure out what's special about this car? I mean, there's a lot special about it. Is, is this going to have like an airplane engine in it or something? Nope. Do any of the fixtures look familiar on it? No. The wheels or anything? This is an automation car. This is no. <laughs> this is the car which I mod you into other games. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's weird. You when you clip in <laughs> from like out, out of like field of view, you turn back to the default car. What the hell? Oh, now you're just in the normal car for me. Oh my god. Yeah, your, yours is yours is switching around a little bit. Mine is staying static for me. Oh, oh yours is back I now. think it's an LOD thing. When I get close to you, kind Wait, of. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, absolutely. Okay. I have I more within, work to do in this mod then. <laughs> if I'm within like a car's length of you, it looks fine. But it's got so it's got like it's got GTA tires. 
Or does it have just textures? It is, it is textures. The materials are on it are uh, from GTA, okay. yes. Yeah, because I'm like, Atomic, that's not automation. <laughs> <laughs> no. And uh, you move I. The, um, the performance over, or is this still. Um, no, it, it's basically just the buggy normally. Except the okay. tires are a little bit different, uh, but I'm not quite sure how that affects handling. It, oh, no, you remember when I said the game was going to freeze? It's frozen. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Venz has joined us. Venz has joined. Uh, let me create a group chat quickly. Hello, oh. Venz. What's up? What's up? You took so long that I kind of gave up on you. I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, hey, consider. Hey, you hey, weren't hey, actually my first choice. <laughs> Actually, my first choice, do you guys know Bay Area Bugs? Yeah. No. Uh, he I follows me on Twitter. Oh, for real? Yeah, so I DM'd him. Oh, dude. And, it, and he never responded. Like, like, it turns out he doesn't actually really use Twitter. So I was like, you know, the other person that I've done 5M really stuff with was you. So I decided to connect, uh, contact you. Uh, get closer. Hey, what's up? Now, what do you see? Uh... A dune buggy? You're sitting on my- okay, so the passenger <laughs> seat could use some lap. work. <laughs> there, there, buddy. Okay, alright, 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 yeah, go into your what own you area. for Christmas? Uh, spawn off-road vehicle number 22. Okay. From the V menu, and see if it works then. <laughs> that was very weird, I saw him get in and he sat on your lap. I wouldn't- I wouldn't change it. I, it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, where else would you sit? Okay, do you see the dune buggy or do you see a different vehicle? I see a K-train. Okay, anything about that vehicle seem... familiar? It seems like you built this vehicle in, autom in automation and... Correct Amundo. Uh, oh, right? <laughs> yeah, consider apparently uh, doesn't grace Just... my videos with views. <laughs> now you put it in a settle, right? Just... Yeah, I put it in a settle. I've, I've also put it into, um, uh, what's the off-road game? Uh, oh, SnowRunner. Yeah, SnowRunner. Yeah. You're still sitting on his lap for me. I know. Can I get you anything for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go off and do my outro. I hope everybody oh. has enjoyed today's video and the jank outro sort of thing that we're doing now <laughs> as I drive around. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you're gonna regret that, that. That's happening oh. in the background. Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody's killed somebody else. That's fantastic. Uh, for you now, though, I, <laughs> I would like to thank my channel members, and that specifically includes the Rogue Tick, the Crown Priest. For everyone else, though, catch you all next time. Goodbye.